Hello YouTube, today new product review, another raw product and I'm going to be presenting to you the DB10 and DB15. Those are both adjustable dumbbells and are produced by the same company. Um, right off the bat, the price is fairly high, especially when you consider the fact that most dumbbells are fairly cheap. Thing is, these are adjustable, meaning that you can put as much weight as you want on them based on their capacity. Uh, something that a lot of home gym owners experience is that they quickly realize that buying a pair of dumbbells isn't expensive at all when they're fixated, meaning that the weight is always the same. But if you want to buy a set, that's when things start becoming complicated because set can run for a few thousand bucks, especially if you want a full rack of dumbbells. And truth of the matter is, if you want to be able to work your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, you're going to have to buy a bunch of them because you need a wide range of weights. You cannot do all of your exercises with 15 pound dumbbells or only one set of a defined weight. That's when adjustable dumbbells come into play because you decide the weight on them. So they're extremely convenient, especially for people who don't have a lot of uh, space. Because for me, for example, where I am, I don't have machines and I don't have racks for a reason is because it takes too much space and it's they're completely immovable it's wasted uh foot square it's not something that i want to have in my gym i want to have only things that i can move easily and that i use all the time so this is why i purchased these and this is why i'm reviewing them because i know a lot of people are going to wonder once you jump and you make the jump and you decide okay i want adjustable dumbbells well there are a few options on the internet and a lot of people are going to check Rogue because they do tend to have very high quality stuff. So should you buy these dumbbells instead of one that are fixated or do you want to maybe check the competition? There are two types that uh, Rogue sells. There's the DB10, okay, they are the short ones with the short colors and there is the DB15 with the long color, okay. Both of them, if you check, the, the length of the grip is the exact same, okay? Depending on the type you buy, you're going to find that the DB10, if you buy them chrome, the grip is a little bit more aggressive than the DB15, at least visually, meaning that a lot of barbells, if you see them with that type of shine, you know it's an aggressive grip. Here, it's not the same thing. The, the, whether you decide to get them chromed or not has no bearing on the grip. Keep that in mind. And the models, and I say that because as far as models go, it's all of the same logic with barbells. If you buy a black oxide from Rogue, for example, uh, it, whether it's chromed or not, the grip is going to be the same. But if you get a chromed power bar from them, the grip is going to be different because it's a different bar. Here, even though the names are different, it's the same grip. The grip is not super aggressive. It's not smooth either. It's in between. I would say that it's it's the it's if it feels very similar to what I said before the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, especially the black oxide one. And it's just fine. Why? Because it's a dumbbell. You're not going to do it for a super heavy grip exercises. Most of the time, your grip is going to be strong enough to handle the weight because it's sub maximal. Now. If you look at the colors, the colors are going to play a role. Why? Because the DB10s are shorter. It's the only difference between the two options, really. Meaning what? You can pack more weight on the DB15. Don't let the length of these fool you. You can only fit two tens on this. You cannot fit three. I'm speaking here about standardized size plates, all right? Most tens that you get in gyms have the same thickness. Of course, if you put your hands on calibrated tens for some reason, they tend to be a little bit thinner, but, but not by much. So in this case, if you have regular tens, that's one, two, all right? I say that why? Keep in mind that with these, unlike with barbells, for example, where there's so much space on the collar, here, you're going to have to be able to fit the color right 
And when you put it on, look at how much space it's already eating on that thing. Don't think that you're going to be able to have it all the way up there and put more plates because this is not going to be uh, uh, keeping the weight in place. Even if you have something very strong that you can lock like this, it's still going to remove itself if the weight applies pressure uh, on it directly. So you have to keep that in mind. This is when the TB15 comes into play because you have much more space. Even then, you can only fit six tens on this one, which is already a ton. So the maximum weights, if you do the math, the maximum weights are going to be slightly different. The DB10s, as the name entails, weight 10 pounds. The DB15s weight 15 pounds. You will be able to fit, I want to say, a maximum of, yeah, between 55 and 60 pounds on this. Not much more. Before, besides that, it's going to become potentially dangerous because the weight is not going to be stable. On these guys, you can go up to 115 pounds. So you can stack up an additional 100 pounds on these. You can potentially even go a little bit higher, but it's basically going to be five tens and five tens here. Uh, I, I think I said six tens, sorry, I meant five tens and the lock. That's it. You're not going to be able to fit a sixth one. You could stack six plates, but it would uh, max out. It would be at the top and you wouldn't be able to lock it. So that's how much you're going to be able to put on these. So that's their weight, that's their, uh, their abilities. They can easily handle the weight. There's no problem with that, of course. A dumbbell is never going to bend, and these are very high quality because they are extremely expensive for dumbbells. But I will get to that at the end. Another thing I want to mention on these is, if you look at the length, and I keep calling that the color, I hope it's the name, uh, if you look at the length, for the DB10s, you're not going to have any issues with this because even though the plates are going to extend all the way there, it's most likely not going to be an issue. But with the DB15s, you're going to have to take in uh, consideration that all of this is going to be occupied with plates. So if you do uh, curls, for example, you will not be able to go all the way down. Why? Because the, the plates are going to hit your body, right? So you really need to foresee this and think about the type of exercises you're going to do. If you do, for example, I, I personally used to do dumbbell rows inside my body. I wasn't able to do that anymore because the, the weight took too much space. So I had to find a variation where I could do it outside of the body. And that's pretty much that for the specs of those dumbbells. They're extremely resilient. I personally uh, treat myself, treat uh, themselves uh, very poorly. The only thing that might age uh, not so well is going to be the mark with the logo here. These, for some reason, wear off super quickly, even though they're supposed to be protected. The dumbbells in themselves are very good. Uh, you can throw them to the ground. They can hit steel. They're not going to bend. They're not going to get uh, damaged. Uh, it's fine with that. I even threw my, one of mine on the stone. It destroyed the stone, but it... By itself, it, uh, it remained consistent. It didn't break or bend. So they're very good. They're very good, as I said, because you're going to put the price. Should you put the price for dumbbells? I'm going to say that if you're someone who's just going to use them for a little bit of isolation once a week, they're not worth the price. Because the, the DB10s, I think, are 80 bucks and maybe even, even more. Right now, most likely even more because everyone is buying dumbbells. The DB15 are above 100 bucks, and I think that the, the pair runs for a very high amount. Yes, they're going to be very adjustable because that's their name. They're adjustable dumbbells. You can play with them a ton, but if you're not going to get much use out of them, you can either get fixed uh, sets. For, if, for example, if you're only going to do front raises with them, you don't need adjustable dumbbells. And if you're not going to use them a ton, just get a cheaper version, right? Uh, I would say that if you're the type of person who's going to be doing between four and six isolation movements with different weights per week, then yes, invest in them. If you are an arm wrestler that's going to be getting a ton of use out of them, then yes, get them. And if you are the type of person who needs to go above a certain limit, for example, for rows, you're too strong for most dumbbells, then get the DB15. 
uh, but keep in mind also that they are not like normal dumbbells they're adjustable you will find that a normal dumbbell that's like 120 pounds is much smaller and takes up more, less less space and volume especially than one of these because the weight is more compact there's no hair if you look at a 10 pound plate the inside is empty there's no weight there that's why they take so much space so if you are i don't know if you're used to curling 70 pounds and you put 70 pounds on an adjustable dumbbell it's not going to feel the same you're not going to be able to curl it because it's going to be a completely different strength curve so keep that in mind before you purchase them and even when you get them to not get injured stupidly start with low weight because it's not going to feel the same so that's it for this product review any questions about the product let me know in the comments i've had them for a year now so i am quite knowledgeable thank you have a good day